In this Go High Level tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can include your login magic link in your part of your emails whenever some, um, someone actually sign up for your courses, sign up for your membership, and you want to send up an automation email to tell them that, hey, you know what, this is your uh, login ID as well as this is your password as well. So I actually figure a way in order to send a, um, a standard email to everyone who actually sign up whether for my free membership or paid membership. And I would just want to show you guys this simple automation in this Go High Level tutorial. Stay until to the end of the video. Welcome back to this Go High Level tutorial. So if let's say you want to get Go High Level at a very reasonable price, half of the price that you're paying, do check it out at junlo.net slash ghl. So come back to here. So in order, the use case is this. So whenever anyone, whether they paid for my course or they actually they sign up for my course for free, I want ghl go high level to be able to send an email to them automatically to tell them what is their username, username, login ID, as well as the password. So uh, to do that, it's very simple. I want you guys to go over to the go high level menu bar. You will see this automation. Just click on automation so basically in this automation you can click on create a new workflow but i want to show you guys the workflow that i created myself that is this the, that's the name any membership membership sign up i'm just going to send them the email and password so i'm just going to open up this to show you guys what's the workflow so in the workflow, you need to set up two things. So the first one is actually the workflow trigger. So what actually triggered GHL to start a workflow? So we will start by checking out, checking out what would be the trigger in this workflow. All right, the workflow is very simple. So whenever there is a membership new sign up, I want them to actually send this automated email. So you can, you guys can create a workflow and then just choose the workflow trigger. The workflow trigger should be new sign up. All right, and then it will be, I, I named this uh, trigger as a membership new sign up. All right, you don't have to add any filter unless uh, the particular workflow you only want to implement for the particular funnels or the particular membership. But I like this to be sent to you all the membership. So that's the reason why I did not put any filter. And after that, I want you guys to hit on plus and go over to send an email to them. So let's check out the send, sending of email. So as you guys can see, I already configured my from email and from the name and from the email. And here's the subject title is congrats your membership login. Okay, and then here's is where I want you guys to copy and paste already. So I'm just going to put this, uh, this exactly inside the Google Doc that I'm input down below so that it's easy for you guys to copy and paste. So you guys can refer to the description doc, uh, description in the YouTube down below. So uh, you just need to put in your, you can log in here and of course you can customize however you want to, you want to put in the information here. But important thing is that we want to include the email as well as the password, you just need to follow exactly how I've written it here. And then, okay, on this login link, this login link will be their magic link, but not to worry. I'm just going to teach you guys where to get this magic link as I input a link over here. So over here, you just copy and paste is good enough. So this is where you are, uh, you are, you are going to type the login here. And then after that, we are going to um, check out where to get this link. So it's very simple. I want you guys to head over back to your GHL. All right, when you're at a GHL, go to membership, okay? When you're going to the membership, I want you guys to hover to courses in GHL and go over to the settings. So when you hover to your settings, you should be able to see these site details here. Okay, so let us just uh, click again. You're going to go to the settings, all right? When you're at the settings, click the site details here. Okay, this is where you are able to see these two magic link, user and learner. So uh, GHL, as their suggestion is that only learner magic links can be sent using the workflows and emails. And they suggest that whenever you have like a new user sign up or given the course access to the new user or existing user, they suggest us to give the learner, uh, learner uh, magic link instead. So just copy the learner magic link and head over back to the workflow just now, remember, uh, I want you guys to hover over this, click this link, and then paste this URL, all right? Okay, so that's the end. If let's say you have any extra templates uh, or information that you want to include, you can include over here and then hit on save. I did not change anything, so that's why it doesn't allow me to save. And one last thing, once you have saved up, once you have tested the workflow, you can always test the workflow in GHL. So once you have tested, remember to publish 
this uh, workflow because I have done a lot of times sometimes after I save, I forgot that this workflow is under draft. That's the reason why that no emails are being sent. So what's the outcome after you set it up? No matter people are joining you for a free course or like paid course, whether like uh, they are the new user, they will be getting this email when they sign up for your course, which is super duper, very convenient. So I hope that this solves your problem in terms of sending an email uh, for the user, uh, user and password, what, how to send it up and how to actually automate this. So if let's say you've been loving this, uh, video feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you will motivate me to do even more fantastic go high level tutorial to show you guys and also in my channel i show you guys how you can actually uh, power up your productivity and efficiency using all these different ai software tools that i'm recommending you guys can check out the playlist down below as well and with that i will see you guys in the next video then and remember if let's say you have watched finish watch this video uh come Leave a comment down below so that I know that this actually solved your problem. Take Bye-bye.